Thanks so much, Ali. And hi, this is Katie. I'm representing the Rainmaker Enterprise today. I'm so honored to be uh, here with all of you uh, watching and also all of those speakers uh, and Emmanuel performing. Uh, we're so happy uh, to be joining this effort, the Africa Climate Action Initiative. And I just want to tell you a little bit uh, today about a community um, in South Sudan. The community of Tonj is our partner community uh, that's working hard right now to adapt to the impacts of climate change and build resilience through partnership. Uh, so the Rainmaker Enterprise, next slide please. The Rainmaker Enterprise is an organization working with people impacted not only by climate change but also by conflict uh, to, to build resilience through the implementation of solar powered water infrastructure for health and food security. Next slide please. So I'm pleased, uh, Surveyor, to be answering your call to use renewable energy um, for climate smart agriculture and building food security. Now, South Sudan is one of the top five most vulnerable countries in the world to climate change. That's according to the 2017 Climate Change Vulnerability Index. Why is that? That's a combination of reasons. Uh, first is because of the direct impacts of climate shocks. So irregular rainfall that's bringing both extreme droughts and extreme flooding and destroying people's crops, uh, displacing hundreds of thousands um, and uh, flooding that impacted up to a million people last year alone. This is compounded by the high reliance on climate sensitive sectors of the population with almost 100%, um, so up to 95%, depending on farming, fishing or herding, what we call climate sensitive sectors. So when a shock, climate shock comes up, um, this puts people's lives in complete jeopardy and that's what we've been seeing. Uh, finally, this is combined with the low capacity of the, of the government to respond and with climate shocks because of long standing political conflict um, and a chronic humanitarian situation. Now, at the community level, next slide, these vulnerabilities are worsening health challenges, poverty, forced migration, intercommunal conflicts over scarce resources, um, and extreme food insecurity. Uh, this is combined to leave 7 million people uh, extreme food insecure, and that's over half the population. And uh, now, what are we doing about this? Next slide, please. So at the community level, what we found at Rainmaker is that, is that insecurity starts with lack of access to clean water and water scarcity. So how we're responding is by installing a climate smart water infrastructure in rural off-grid communities in South Sudan to provide access to water, both for people to drink and use in the household level uh, and to use for farming, to enable communities to, to adapt to climate change and rebuild uh, resilience and security. So the way that our system works is a solar powered water pump connected to drip irrigation system, which provides an effective means of accessing and managing uh, water that enables communities to farm not only during uh, the rainy season, which is getting increasingly short and irregular, in fact, all year round. And so it gives a bit of a, um, it gives a, bit of a security uh, in times of uncertainty that we're facing now. Next slide, please. So what we hope by starting at the community level is that practical action creates possibilities and is going to inspire further action. So what we've seen so far is that our community where we've started is starting to inspire surrounding communities um, that we can expand our impact um, by partnering, working together and collaborating. So we start at the community level and we build from the ground up. Uh, next slide, please. We hope this can also inspire uh, people like you listening and tuning in tonight um, to support this kind of actions along these people who are on the front lines of climate change and who are already fully prepared to adapt but they do need the tools. So just to give you an example our team spoke with one of our community members at CORE last year and that's the one on the left on the slide that you see there. So she shared with us how she comes from a long line of farmers. Farming is what she's born with and what she needs to do. A core holds in her hands generations of knowledge on organic farming and sustainable land management. And all the factors I've just outlined here have taken this ability out of her hands. Now, if there's one thing um, I think uh, the COVID-19 situation has shown, it's, it's actually how important productivity is for human security. Uh, it's actually quite essential because when um, food uh, chains get shut down globally, uh, this, puts us all, um, this puts us all in a situation of insecurity. Now in South Sudan, uh, many communities have been dealing with this uh, for years and even decades due to conflict and insecurity. 
uh, we, we say at the Rainmaker that the, the critical response um, is to be able to create the capacity for local level food production. Um, and these are only being, these challenges are only being compounded now by COVID and also by climate change. So the need for local food production capacity is more important than ever. And that's what we're trying to build uh, by leveraging renewable technology um, to build resilience. So with the right tools, a core can cultivate, uh, move her community forward, be a land steward, uh, take the future back into her hands. And that's not just her community's future, but that's our collective future, the future of our whole uh, global community. So final slide, please. Uh, we at Rainmaker are strongly in favor of uh, more of these solar powered irrigation systems and of working together uh, to scale up solar powered irrigation as a response to climate change and food insecurity. And it is growing rapidly across the African continent as a solution. So uh, towards these goals, we're so pleased to be part of the Africa Climate Action Initiative. And we look forward to engaging with all of you to expand our impact uh, for the human security and environmental sustainability of the African continent and of our world. So thank you so much. Uh, you can learn more on our website, rainmakerenterprise.org, and we can't wait to hear from you and engage. Thank you.